hello guys welcome back to this youtube channel if you are a returning viewer thank you so much for always coming back to watch a new video if you are new to our channel thank you for tuning in to our channel today in our channel we share content about scholarship and uh, how to apply for scholarship we also share insights on how to tackle some of the essay questions that are requested during scholarship application for those that do not know me i am jude by name and I am a current Erasmus Mundus scholarship student studying public health in disaster in Europe. And um, if you follow to our channel, you will see that I share some of my ideas and some of the things I've learned over the years for scholarship application. So I encourage you to use these ideas free of charge to make your application and then win yourself a fully funded scholarship in 2024. And um, some other things that you, you need to do if you have not subscribed to our channel, I encourage you to please subscribe to our channel and then also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video. Guys, this is October and I encourage you to make as many applications as possible. And um, I also encourage you to make application for the Erasmus Mundo Scholarship. Um, the reason why I'm emphasizing on this is because this scholarship uh, does not have um, you know eligibility criteria that excludes those with low CGPA and also if you are in your final year in school you can apply for this scholarship if you have so many years of experience you can apply there is no age limit there is no nationality limit so please do well to apply and also check out other videos I have here and um, that can help you in your scholarship application journey so guys without wasting much of our time let us go straight into the video of today so today we'll be talking about the widen fed hoffman scholarship at the university of oxford in the united kingdom this scholarship is fully funded and is for people from the developing country or emerging economies the scholarship is also interested in leadership development and you also have the opportunity of a long-term mentoring and then networking with the University of Oxford. The Oxford and Wedding Fed and Hoffman Scholarship is jointly funded by both the University of Oxford and um, the Wedding and Hoffman Foundation. The university contributes 40% to this scholarship while the foundation contributes 60% to this scholarship. And then there is something else you should know. The scholarship covers 100% of all the course fees, your tuition fee, everything that have to do with your study. It covers 100% of it and then gives you a living stipend or cost of living of about £18,622, which is roughly about £1,500 every month for 12 months. And this money is untaxed, so it's quite generous. When you apply for this scholarship now, you will be informed about the outcome of the scholarship by May 2024. Yeah. So the scholarship is currently open, so I, I encourage you to apply and by May 2024, you will get your response. So these are some of the eligibility criteria for the Wedden Fair and Hoffman Scholarship. You must be starting a new program at uh, the University of Oxford. And um, these are some of the eligible courses. So you must be applying to any of these eligible courses for you to be eligible for this scholarship uh, mba masters in business administration and that is very good these are some of the few scholarships that are available for mba programs so for those of you who are interested in mba please this is a scholarship for you and um, african studies and um, let me just go through some of the courses we also have global health and epidemiology global governance and diplomacy then we have social data science, uh, MSc, women, gender, and uh, sexuality studies. So you can just choose any of these courses and then make your application. Please do not go beyond the list of these courses. So uh, let's go to the eligible countries. So you must make sure you are coming from the eligible countries and um, you must make sure that um, you have a current admission for next year. Okay and um, they do not need people with deferred admission so if you hold a deferred admission the scholarship is not open for you so these are the list of eligible countries afghanistan you just move straight chad china just keep moving down uh, ghana is there 
and um, this is uh, Guinea, this is Ghana, this is Jordan, Kenya is there. Also, Nigeria is eligible for this scholarship at the University of Oxford. Rwanda is there, Tanzania, Togo, Tunisia. So there are many uh, countries that are eligible for this particular application. So I encourage you to make application and uh, make it as soon as possible. If you want to apply for this scholarship, the first thing you need to do is to apply for admission at the University of Oxford. Remember that there are eligible courses and I showed you that earlier. So go to the course page and then apply to the relevant course that you are interested in. And then this is some of uh, this is the website to the University of Oxford uh, Graduate School. So you can search the keyword of the course you want to apply or the program you want to apply and then you start your application as soon as possible. So remember that most of the courses and the, the programs at the University of Oxford have December deadline and January deadline. So the earlier you make your application, the better for you. So and then during the application process, you must submit a statement for the Weddenfeld and Hoffman scholarship and upload it together with your graduate school application. So when you apply for the graduate school application at the University of Oxford, you will upload this statement and I will show you um, this document and information they want to see inside. This document is attached with uh, the, the admission uh, application indicating that you are interested in applying for this scholarship, having looked at the eligibility criteria. So this is the Weddenfeld Hoffman Scholarship and Leadership Program application form. Remember that this document you have to submit it with your admission um, package when you are applying for the program of interest. So basically what they want to see is your personal detail, your date of birth, then and they also want to see the program you are applying at the University of Oxford. It's very simple. They also want to see the name and the list of the universities you have attended to date and the results. So you mention them here. Then they also want to see your professional experience. So and the main responsibility. So you list them here. Basically what they want to see here is two. So look at the most important professional experience you have that are related to the program you are applying or that will give you an edge to put them here. Then they also want to see that you provide information about any other scholarship for which you have applied in other universities, both in Oxford and outside Oxford. At the time of making this application, you should mention them here. Okay. And they so after that, you now write the motivation letter. The motivation letter for this scholarship is quite simple because it is broken down into five uh, you know uh, headlines the first one is why do you want to participate in the wedding in the wedding fed hoffman trust leadership program what value do you see in our moral philosophy program and enterprise challenge and other activities so this particular question alone is 200 uh, 200 what so you have about five questions here one two three four five so which means you have 1000 word count for you to write this essay so you have enough uh, you know uh, space you have enough space to write in details how you are going to win how you are the best candidate for this scholarship so for this please make good you know research about the wedding fair hoffman trust leadership program what they are all about understand their priorities understand their objectives why they are funding you know these programs and then why they are interested in them um, people from a developing country it is very important this is what they want you to talk about there why you think they can help you so and also they are they are also interested in the fact that uh, um, when you are writing this particular number one uh, the fact that you do not have the finance to also you know sponsor yourself at the university of Oxford should also be part of your reasons for wanting to participate at the wedding fed hoffman trust leadership scholarship please if you have not subscribed to our channel do well to subscribe now please and they turn on the notification bell so that you get alerted whenever we drop a new video so the second part of your motivation letter is how can one individual make a difference so basically they just want to see what um, you have done in the past because for you to make a difference in the future you have to have made a difference in the past so make sure you mention what are the differences and what are the developmental differences or impacts you've had in the past and then also extrapolate it to what you can do in the future if you get the master's degree from the University of Oxford and all the good things and all the you know, opportunities and platforms the University of Oxford is going to produce or you know provide for you so this is what they want to see here 
200 word count too. So uh, have you ever mobilized a group to achieve a common goal and how? So this is also where you mentioned some of the good and uh, you know community development services you have done in the past. And uh, make sure they are related to the program you are applying and make sure they are well connected. And then what is the challenge facing your country that you want to help solve? Remember, I will, I will always tell you, when you are applying for a scholarship, they are interested in solving problems that are affecting developing nations. And these problems are well stated in their objectives, why they are, you know, why they have this trust fund available. So you must look at it and then also look at each of these programs you are applying for and make sure you identify the problems the programs are expected to solve so that these problems become the basis for applying for the scholarship too. So what are the problems facing your country? So you must mention this problem, use statistics to mention this problem and make sure that these problems are a real problem and um, they are affecting a good number of people in your home country. So the fifth uh, essay question there is outline your idea career path over the next five to ten years. So they specify five to ten years so you can start you know, explaining to them your career path from the first one year after graduation till the next ten years after graduation. I have discussed this a lot in so many of the essays in so many of the videos I did about writing essays. So they are practically the same thing and they are not entirely different. So if you understand you know the systematics of writing an essay for one scholarship for Mastercard from um, Erasmus or for any scholarship at all, you will be able to write this particular essay very well. And the beauty of this one is that you are giving 1,000 word counts, 200 word counts each of the questions. So it's, it's a nice um, way of writing, it's a nice structure and it gives you enough space. So the next thing here is how did you find about the scholarship? You think how you found about the scholarship and um, you know, note to the applicant, make sure that you convert this file to a PDF. Please don't upload this file as a Word document. Make sure you convert it to a PDF so that your information will be intact. And then make sure you submit it together with the admission application package. So when you are applying for admission, you will see a place where you indicate that I are applying for Warden Fed Hoffman Scholarship. And then you attach this statement to it, this particular file. Don't forget the whole content. Make sure it is filled and then you attach it to your application package after applying for the admission and the scholarship you will be called for interview if you are successful and um, the interview will be held online uh, by april 2024 and then by may 2024 the successful candidate will be notified so take note so if you have been shortlisted for interview by this scholarship body i have a video on my channel on how to tackle interview questions so I used my experience uh, with uh, the Erasmus Mundus interview to share some of the insights and um, some of the questions and how they asked the questions and how I responded to the questions. So you can watch the video and have an idea on how to prepare yourself for this particular scholarship interview questions. So they are basically the same. They are not entirely different. So whatever I, I shared there, you can use it and add to some other information. You can get any other place and prepare yourself for this interview. It is worth all the effort. So guys, that's the basic thing you need to know about uh, the Wedden Fed and Hoffman Scholarship at the University of Oxford. And um, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do well to subscribe now. And also do well to turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video. The scholarship is amazing and uh, many countries are eligible to apply for the scholarship. And then the scholarship is fully funded, your tuition fee is covered and pays you over 1500 pounds every month for your living expenses and the scholarship has a lot of eligible courses that you can you know apply for and the scholarship is embedded into the admission process of uh, the, the University of Oxford so please do well to apply this is October do well to make as many applications as possible so that by next year we can you know uh, celebrate you as the people who want fully funded scholarship you can win more than one scholarship you become a multi award winning you know scholar and um, I would really love to celebrate you on this channel and uh, I'm sure you'll be very proud of yourself, your family will be proud of you, your friends will be proud of you and um, you will be fulfilled as a person who has uh, tasted and um, you know, enjoyed the benefits of studying in some of these uh, developed nations. So until I see you next time, remain healthy, remain fine and also keep chasing your dreams. Bye!